welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Sigma Face Architecture Brushes. I actually wanted to review these for you guys because they are new brushes. In case y'all were thinking about purchasing any of these, they actually are doing a sale for Cyber Monday. That's why I wanted to go ahead and get this video up. It is a 20% off sale, which Sigma hardly ever does 20% off sales. I did actually do a video about a month or so ago that has like all of my favorite items from Sigma. So if you guys want to check that out, I will leave it down below. But anyway, Sigma did send me four of their brushes and I've actually been using these for the last week or so. So I wanted to go ahead and give you all my thoughts and opinions in case you were wondering or wanted to purchase anything from that new line. Basically, they came out with a line that is specifically meant for contouring and highlighting, which I think is really awesome because contouring and highlighting is such a big thing these days. And I think it's really great that they did create brushes just specifically for that. So the first brush, the F77 brush. So I really like this brush and this brush is really for like multiple uses. So here's what it looks like. It's just a very straight lined brush. What I most like it for is using it for a cream contour because it's really great to just get up in the contour area and you can almost like stamp where the contour line goes. So like let's say you want a contour, you can just place the brush right here on your face and kind of move it on down so that way you get that nice structure contour. I really like it for cream contours or powder contours. I think it fits great right here in the edges of your nose if you want to do a nose contour. A lot of times contours can get muddy or messy especially if you're new to contouring. One thing I absolutely love to do is go up underneath my contour and just put like a really nice light powder under it. So you can actually use that brush for putting a lighter powder to really define your contour. But yeah, it's called the Chisel and Trim Contour and that is the F77 brush. The Sigma Soft Angle Contour is called the F23 brush. This is going to be my new Holy Grail Contour brush. Oh my gosh, I love it. It makes it so easy to contour. Like if you're new to contouring, get this brush. Like I used it today and I was like, oh my gosh, there hasn't been a brush that has made my face look like that. So basically what I did is I went and took it and I just kind of softly applied the contour, but I brought it up around my face because when you're contouring and highlighting you don't want to like contour this top area and then leave this blank and then have like a contour so I like it because it just really nicely curves up into your face and it gives you like not a harsh contour but like a natural contour does that make sense like it looks more natural it's not like super defined and it would be really great for kind of blending out a contour if you kind of got your contour a little harsh but yeah it's probably my favorite brush that i own this far for contouring i have a lot of contour brushes because I, <laughs> I like to contour but yeah i really like this and yeah it's really nice it's really soft and it's angled so it's perfect for contouring another brush that i got is the extreme structure contour it is the f04 brush so it looks like this and this brush is like really dense so this one is going to be specifically meant for doing a intense structured contour you can really get up in your cheekbones and just lay the contour down and I really like this one to actually curve the contour because whenever I like to bronze or contour sometimes I like to bring it up around my cheeks I think this is really great and I actually used all of these brushes in my Tarte review so I'll leave that link down below as well if you'd like to see them in action I did actually make a video specifically for these brushes but then I looked at the footage and it was not that great and I want to make sure I got this up before the sale ended so that's why I'm just kind of reviewing them today but this one's really nice the last brush they sent me is the high cheekbone highlighter looks like this it is the fo3 brush and i really like the bristles on this because i feel like you can use it for a cream highlight or a powder highlight because of the way the bristles are but yeah it's really nice just to lay your highlight down this is what i used today when i did my highlight but yeah just to pack your highlight on you can do it on your nose or right on your cupid's bow but yeah like i said i want to get this video up because sigma is having a 20 percent off sale and that rarely happens so if you wanted to get any of these brushes they do have a couple more from the face architect brushes sorry i'm like 
<laughs> but I would definitely do it when they're on sale because why wouldn't you get them when they're on sale instead of full price? I honestly have used Sigma brushes for so long and I think they're really, really great. What most people compare them to are MAC brushes, except they're a lot less expensive. None of my Sigma brushes, none of the bristles have fallen off of them. I like cleaning them because I don't have to worry about them shedding. So yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. I hope it was helpful. Brushes are kind of a hard thing to talk about because you want to make sure if you are purchasing brushes that you invest in the right brushes. Because I remember when I first started in makeup, I didn't have the best brushes and it can make a big difference with how your makeup turns out. So yeah, I really like these brushes. I do recommend them, especially if you do like to contour and highlight. And like I said, this F23 brush is like the bomb.com. <laughs> it is definitely one of my new favorite brushes. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like reviews of stuff that's coming out, you know I try to do that on my channel a lot. But make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe before you leave. As always, I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!